I'm tweeting a picture of you. Uh oh. Getting all my <laughs> getting all my tweets to tune in and watch. Um Oh it's cute. It's a cute picture. Oh. <laughs> if you're not following me on Twitter, you can follow right now and see the picture I just took of Nikki. Steven from BB ten. Um oh you know what? I had a lot of opinions on Jesse coming back in the house, and that was one of the big question I got asked a lot. Of course I don't want to see him back there because mm -hmm. I just I mean I didn't just our personalities didn't get along. He was the one that wanted me out of the house so bad right. he got me out of the house. He, you know, we then had the big blow up about him saying that I was telling everyone he was gay, you know, and then he just like bashed me everywhere. I just, I just have no interest in him. Um, but a lot of people wanted to know how I felt about it and everything. <laughs> and I don't think he makes good TV. Um, and I heard that from uh, no, I think so many yeah, people. a lot of people. But then I also met people who think, oh no, he's great TV. They're like, I love to laugh at that. Like to me, he cracks me up. And I've so I have to accept people's opinions. Yeah, and that's fine. I have to admit that I'm probably just a little biased when it comes to Jesse because we did have so many conflicts and issues. And okay, uh, let me scan up here because somebody said I was missing some questions. I don't want to miss any questions. No, we want all your. If questions. I'm missing any questions. I'm sorry, guys. You might have to brief one back in. Okay, Paul. What or you can tweet them too. If you're following me on Twitter, you can tweet me picture. Tweet That's, me questions. There we go. So. Did now? Did you watch this whole last season, the Big Brother Eleven season? Yes, I did. Now, did you watch? Ever watch the feeds or the live feeds, the a, real player, or did you just watch the bit. show I did or some. the Showtime thing? Or yeah, honestly, I was I was trying to keep up with it because I was writing a blog for um, Edge. Oh, okay. Um, which is a website, um, and I was writing a blog for the Marcellus was writing it for the first half of the season, right. and then I finished. For the okay, because I say didn't he? He went off to do. He was doing a show this, overseas. Uh, yeah. The, a perfect catch. Yeah, for which is now airing on E. Right. Here in the U.S. Um, so he was doing that, and don't forget to tweet me questions. Um, I'm checking you right now. So he was doing that. So I took over the blog. So I watched a little bit of the feeds to kind of keep up. Um, but the where I was going with that, with the whole Twitter thing, was that I finally figured out that I don't have to watch the feeds. I could just check check Twitter. Right. Every single thing that was going on in the house would be on Twitter. Um, do you still talk to Keisha? There you go. Okay, that was, I think, probably <laughs> one that, that one? I missed. Yeah, that was back up there. Yes, I do talk to Keisha. In fact, we um, had lunch just the other day. Because, you know, I was in L.A. For, if you don't know, I was in L.A. for a whole month. Um, basically from the beginning of January until just now. And um, so I tried to hang out with as many people as possible. Hung out with Keisha. Um, we had lunch. She's just, you know, she's busy working. And I, my schedule is really crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but we did, and I wanted to try and get with her this past week, but it just it didn't, didn't happen. Out. A little yeah. crazy. But I have been hanging out with, um, who is, I completely have had the best time ever, Lydia from season 11. Yeah. And she, she called, she's a sweetheart. She's actually really nice, which is another weird thing. Right? Right. Back to the whole Jesse thing. Yes. Because she really is a, 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 interesting because I liked her at the beginning of Big Brother 11 and then I kind of didn't like her on the show. And what really, that whole crying thing over Jesse really freaked was me out. was ridiculous. And then when I met her, I changed back to liking her again. And that's so funny. You know? I wrote some, I wrote some, uh, not, I mean, not negative things about her. Not like negative against her personality in my blog. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I definitely had some things to say about her. Like how ridiculous that whole crying thing was. And right. Like how I wrote some things about possibly she wasn't mentally stable enough to be in the house when she was going on about like cutting herself. And, right. You know, there were, I was wondering were, a little bipolar thing. Actually yeah. I mean, some, on, you know, some craziness mm -hmm. going on. And but then I, she I, even I, took all that limelight away completely. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, you know, I never said anything, de you know, derogatory about her, but just, you know, I had some questions about her, mm -hmm. you know, sanity. Cause she got a little crazy in there, mm -hmm. which, you can you get a little crazy in there. Yeah, I right. completely get it. But after meeting her, actually at the party, the Vegas party, I thought for sure, the whole because of the whole Jesse thing, that she would not even speak to me. Right. Um, you know, because you friends, and if right. your friend doesn't like someone else, you stick up for your friend. Totally sweetest girl ever. Mm -hmm. Came up and talked to me. We took pictures together. I got her phone number. When I went out to L.A., we hung out. Um, she came with me and sat basically with me through when I got my tattoo. Oh, you know, I got, cool. I got my first tattoo while I was in Vegas. Oh, you did? I did. I did I, not know that. I did. Where is your tattoo? I, it's on my back. Oh, we have to see the tattoo. All right. Come on now. It says strength, patience, diligence. Nice. SP. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's cool. So I was, yeah, I've been wanting to get a tattoo for as long as I can remember. And... 
this, I finally just said I was going to do it, and I actually, Adam Killian again, <laughs> I talk about him a lot, I kind of like him. <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I shouldn't be talking about him so much, he may watch this, and then I'll be embarrassed. Um, so, he um, took me to High Voltage, which is the actual tattoo parlor where they do LA Inc. Oh, the cool. show LA Inc. So, they weren't filming at the time. I thought, how fun would that be? Right. Although TMZ was out waiting for me outside. Oh, how funny. Um, but Michelle Noonan and Lydia, um, they showed up to be with me for my first tattoo. That's so cool. Yeah, so it was, it was a really fun right time. On. And it was so funny. I have to tell you this story. So, you know, the whole TMZ thing, you know, when I made my movie, TMZ found out. And right. It was all, like, all over the TMZ website. Then it was on the show. Then they, like, caught me one day, like, running at the park. Um... I guess they hang out there a lot, and I was... The problem with Twitter is that you tweet something, TMZ follows that stuff, and so then they know where you're at. So they caught me at the park one day, and this whole interview, and whatever. Was, I, you know, was hitting up TMZ a lot. Um, well, then the girls um, <laughs> were with me, and they, like... We showed up one place, and TMZ was there, and they didn't want to talk to them, and whatever. TMZ showed up at High Voltage, and we're walking down the street to go there to get my tattoo, and I literally was I been running late, and um, I was starving, and I'm trying to eat, you know, really healthy, and I went to McDonald's, <laughs> and I'm like shoving cheeseburgers oh, no. down my face, because I'm great starving, and I, shot, to be, right? and I literally am like, have just shoved like the rest of the cheeseburger in my mouth, because we were about to walk in the door, and all of a sudden, boom, this light flashes, like, you don't even see them, I don't know, it's like they're, like, magical, all of a sudden, boom, there they are, and it's like, boom, light, camera, and I'm like, whoa, and I'm standing there with my mouth full of cheeseburger, and the girls both look at me, and I looked at them, and I was like, oh, and I couldn't, so I go, I had to turn around, and I'm like, crap, TMZ just caught me with a big old cheeseburger in my mouth. It figures, right? Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that figures. Um, well, someone, well, no, this is kind of interesting, so it ties in a few things, what, do you think about, um, like the whole Jeff and Jordan success story, I guess, or popularity story and them being on the amazing race. And also, do you know, um, the two guys that are uh, from the rodeo that are in the amazing race? Um, I do not know the guys from the rodeo. In fact, somebody was asking me that question yeah, okay. before. I don't know. I mean, I know of them. I know okay. their names. But you don't personally know right. them. Okay. But I, no, I do not know them. I mean, they're professional cowboys. That would, you know, that okay. would be like me knowing a couple of NFL players or something, you know. Okay. A far above my league. Um, I'm way down the minors. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, you know, I'm really, really happy for Jeff and Jordan. You, you know, you can't. I know some people who are really jealous of them mm -hmm. because, you know, they took Big Brother and became these just, like, two sweethearts of America. Right. And hugely popular and just, you know, you know what I mean? They just sort of took over and became just insanely popular duo. Um, you know, you can't be a hater. You just have to be happy for them. I, right. I mean, they, I don't know if it was just amazing casting or just chemistry on set or what made it happen, but... Um, you know, wow, they're the cutest, most adorable couple ever. Well, it's, it, I think it's, um, oh, but, uh, Hula says, can you tell Steven, ha oh, you can tell Steven has not got a big head, even though he has many fans. That is an endearing quality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aww. I appreciate that. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out. Hey, Big John. Hey, hey uh, Persia. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hey, Hula. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Hey, everybody. Just give a little shout outs here. Tell Stephen to bring a rodeo to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Hmm. Contact um, www.igra.com. Um, that's the International Gay Rodeo we want Association. Rodeo in yes. Pittsburgh. Okay. International Gay Rodeo Association. If you've never heard of it, um, check out their website. You can find out if a rodeo comes to your town. Um, we need to support the gay rodeo. They're, it's a, they're all charity rodeos that oh, raise cool. money for. I mean, of course. If you compete, you still win money, right. but the ultimate goal of all the rodeos is to raise money oh, for local nice. charities. Yeah. Okay. So they're really awesome, awesome events. And if you haven't been to one, you need to go to one. And if you want one in your town, write the website and tell them. There you go. Well, so your your initial, it's like somebody stabs you. You're like, what? They got another show? What? God, you know, yeah. at first you're like, shit. But, Damn, that yeah. was quick. And they, because I know they were asked like immediately. Yeah. Like, literally, like, they got off the show, and within, like, a couple days, but, I mean, was like, do you guys want to do this? But it was a given. I mean, it just, yeah. it's, it was, it was kind of like... Big. He's, he's <laughs> incredibly attractive, you know. And really everyone, nice. Really nice, really sweet, insanely hot. Um, you know, the women love him, the gay men love him.